there were you, I would probably be somewhere snowboarding. I'm very passionate about it. I love it. So I'm really excited for my next guest. She is a badass chick. She is the most decorated snowboarder of all time. And she just captured her third Olympic medal at the Sochi Games. Please welcome Olympic snowboarding superstar Kelly Clark. <laughs> Oh my god, it really, oh it's heavy. It's heavy. It falls on your neck, right? Yes. It's like a, it's a nice coaster. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd use it for that. Well, you can make other ones. You can make <laughs> copies of it as a coaster. Yes. Yeah. So how, how excited are you? Uh, I'm beyond excited. Uh, this is my fourth Olympic trip and my third medal, and it's just an absolute privilege. How did you get into snowboarding? Where did you grow up and how did you, and when did you know that it was, you were going to go all the way? Uh, my dad had me on skis when I was two. I started snowboarding when I was seven. I always say it was before it was cool. You know, there was no X Games, there was no Olympics back then. And I had a moment when I was 14 years old and I watched the 1998 Olympics when snowboarding was first part of the Olympic Games and I recorded it on a VHS tape, watched it after school. And I had one of those moments where I said, this is what I want to do with my life. And the rest is history. I've been chasing that dream down ever since. It's amazing. It is, it is a relatively new sport. I mean, it is a relatively new sport. I started probably, you know, about the same time as you, but doing it leisurely. Are you scared? Do you get scared at all? To be honest, I'm, I'm not wired that way, which is perhaps a good thing that I'm a professional snowboarder. <laughs> You're not wired that way. And even as, because as, we, I feel like as women, as we get older, you get you have a little bit more fear. So because when you're young, you're so fearless, you'll do anything. But you still have that same thing where you just don't have any fear. I, I think I work a lot harder these days. Um, I have to put a lot more in on the fitness side of things and on the front end. I have to, um, yeah, prepare myself. It, it's definitely smarter, not harder training. I'm not just out there sending it every day. Uh, I think we look like... We look like risk takers, but the reality is, is that we're calculated risk takers. Right. And I think with age, that is a benefit to me. How do men react to you as a woman who's such a badass snowboarder? Because it seems like it's a daredevil male sport. Um, you know, I think the, the guys and the girls, we compete in the same half pipes. We are at all of the same competitions. And I'm, I'm inspired by all of the, the guys that are out there on the tour. And, um, you know, it takes a secure guy, though, to, to be... Um, yeah, to just be, for me to be comfortable with who I am, so. Right, that's, yeah, exactly. I love it. Um, are you, do you think you'll do another Olympics? Do you think you have another one in you? Um, they say at 30 years old that I'm technically uh, old as a snowboarder, which I think is kind of interesting and funny and worth, worth a and laugh. And motivating, <laughs> right? Yeah, and, you know, they said that four Olympics was going to be impossible, and I'm the only one from the States to ever have done that, and um, I still walked away. <laughs> I still walked away with a medal, and um, you know, I, I, if they said four was impossible, I don't see what would be so difficult about five Basically. if I'm already outside the box. Exactly.